we are in isolation together with our partners. Are you having issues? I've got three tips for you. One is space. Two, structure. And three, be sensitive. You're working, you find yourself together 24-7. To be able to work well, you need that space. You've got rooms in your homes. Work in one room and your, husband, your partner works in another one. My partner and I, that's what we do. I take one room, I've made it my own office, and he takes another room, he's made it his own office. And we work from there. Lunch time, we come back together and have lunch. And then go back again. And then dinner time, we come back together and we're all done. And we talk about our day. Space is wonderful. Space is wonderful for you to be able to be disciplined, to do the work you're supposed to be doing. That's one. And space is wonderful for in a relationship where, in a relationship so that when you come back together, you've actually, you've created desire because that space creates desire. So when you come back, you have a lot to talk about. So do that. That's one space. And two is structure. Have a structure for yourself to know, okay, for example, this is what I'm planning to do today. I normally do three important things. I call it MIT, most important task. I set it out in the morning. I know what I want to achieve. So that at the end of the day, when I look at it, I've done these three things. My sense of achievement shoots up the roof because I know what I set out to do, I've done it. So start doing that today. Have your MIT written out and do it. That's a structure. It will keep you disciplined. And number three is be sensitive. I know we're in this um, isolation together. You're seeing each other 24 seven. Oh, comments, information, communication styles, because you're seeing each other together. You might not be too, I want you to be sensitive with your partner. They might do things that you don't expect from them or that you're upset about. Because remember, they're also going through this isolation as well. A lot of emotions running. So instead of you to react, try and respond. Put, your put yourself in their shoes before you respond so that you don't have conflicts. Doing that will, will help your relationship so that when we come out of the isolation, you're in a much better place. A bonus tip for people, because as a coach and a counsellor, I see clients who during this isolation are going through a hard time and some unfortunately are thinking of going their separate ways but what I tell them is to observe the 90 day rule 90 days after to wait 90 days after the isolation and re-examine how they're feeling so that they make the right decision because you don't want to say oh we've come out of isolation I want to have the divorce and then find out you, you've made the wrong you, you've made the wrong choice so that 90 day rule gives you time to reassess and revisit what you thought you want to do so that 90 day rule is wonderful and that happens after we come out of isolation so don't do anything rash Love, be you already with each other be compassionate so I've talked about space, I've talked about structure, and be sensitive. I remember also my 90-day rule. Do that, it will help you. For videos like this, like this page. And you can message me to tell me what other videos you want me to be doing. And I'll do that. Remember to take care of you. And I'll see you in my next video. Wherever you see me, like it, comment. Take care of you. Bye.